Hi and welcome to the third snippet in the manual series for Windows 7. Um, I'm going to cover now the taskbar on the start menu. Um, again, building on the simplicity and the ease of access and the functionality of Windows 7, um, Peak has another use uh, of actually well, the live previews. Not only can you look at a document that's currently open, but if you wanted to, you can actually close it directly from that window. Now, don't panic, it wouldn't just close it directly, it would still ask you the same protocols as before and go through the same process of um, seeing if you want to save it uh, or you know save the changes etc so in this case I'm going to click cancel and I'll keep the document open and down here you have a list of programs as you can see and now as the application is open the um, image and the icon will be on the taskbar if I was to close that uh, it would then disappear so for example uh, one of the things in the start menu is the getting started so I've um, opened up the learn Windows 7 so I'm going to click on that and open it up and here you can see it currently uh, in action and the window so as you can see if I click the close button there the uh, question mark at the bottom of the screen disappears because the uh, icon's not pinned to the taskbar so if I right click on the word icon there for it's the application um, of word it will then give me some further options as you can see I've already pinned it to the taskbar so I have the option to unpin it um, I also have access as you can see at the top to my recent documents now these will be a list of documents I've used in Word recently, but not only that, if there's a, a document I use regularly, for example an expenses template or a um, an Excel spreadsheet I'm regularly doing or a document I have to type or a letterhead or something, I can click on the, the pin icon here and it will see it will pin it to the, the list here. Now, no matter how many other recent documents I open or other documents I'm using, this will always stay within the pinned list. So I, if and I don't open it for a week and I'm opening other documents, it won't be um, overwritten in that list. Now further to this, in the start menu, um, there is no recent files or folders uh, list. There is what's called jump lists. And if I went to the program uh, that I wanted to try and find a recent document, I can go over, for example, Microsoft Word, and I can see there the um, ones pinned that I pin there, and the other recent document is available there. This is called a jump list. It allows me to access data and information without having to open the application itself. Um, again, further to this is the pinning. So as you can see, I've pinned Office Word up here. This is a regular program I use, and these lists of programs here will be constantly changing depending on which programs I use. Um, I can then search as usual from the uh, start menu. Uh, in this case, I'm going to search specific email. So, um, one where I've got a request to go go karting. So, you can see I've just searched and it's indexed all my emails. I can also search for programs. So, I can search for Word, open up Word there at the top, um, or individual items or documents themselves. So, as you can see, uh, an extension to the uh, peak and the live previews it's just improving the functionality of actually having more features available without having to actually open the document themselves or the application themselves